what are you going to do? Some governors have come forward and said they're not. It's going to be up to the parents whether or not they give their kids COVID vaccines for the next fall. What are you going to do? Yeah, we're not currently requiring that. That's something that goes through the General Assembly. All of the vaccination requirements are uh, heard by the General Assembly, decided upon by the General Assembly. Uh, and so it's obviously something we're listening to doctors uh, about and making sure we're making the right decisions, but at this point, not required. What do you think about it? I'm sorry, what? What do you think? What are your thoughts on it? I think we should follow the scientists and doctors. That's what I've been doing all along. Make sure that we're doing the right thing here. You know, the CDC has made a recommendation. That's true. Uh, but, I, you know, this is a process that we need to consider. Obviously, all across the state, uh, we have representatives who want to be heard on this subject. I think it's appropriate. All across the state, uh, we have representatives who want to be heard on this subject. I think it's appropriate. Well, that's not something we're looking at doing, so it's, it's really not a com conversation that's even going on. Everything about Darren Bailey's campaign has been full of misinformation, untruths. Uh, he just likes to put things out there, hoping that people will believe something and vote for him and vote against it. The truth is, he is lying about what you know vaccines do. He has not vaccinated himself. Uh, he is not somebody who believes in mitigations. Um, he's just putting out something new, hoping at the last minute in a desperate attempt to win some votes. You know, they meet on a regular basis to look at vaccines and, you know, the, you know, what requirements there ought to be. Uh, there are no policies or plans to expand to include a COVID-19 vaccine in those requirements.